Germany vs. Tesla. Tesla has created a vast new plant near Berlin to build its electric vehicles. And the move threatens to upend Germany's traditional combustion engine car culture. While Tesla is completing a factory in Berlin, Mercedes-Benz and Audi are introducing electric vehicles in an effort to maintain their luxury market dominance. In today's video, we will be giving updates on the happenings between Tesla and Germany, which include the competition between Tesla and German-owned automobile companies and the environmental concerns of citizens, as the Tesla Berlin Gigafactory is set to start production. Hello, and welcome back to another top video from your favorite tech channel, Disruptive Age. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily information and updates on happenings in the tech world. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the following video. Let's get right into it. Elon Musk, who founded the online payments firm, PayPal, before venturing into cars and space exploration, is now offering five Tesla models, a sports car called the Roadster, the Model S sedan, an SUV dubbed the Model X, the Model 3, and lately, the Model Y. All of them are entirely electric. An economy ministry spokesperson said on Sunday that Germany will probably decide by the end of the year how much state aid U.S. electric vehicle maker, Tesla, will receive for its planned battery cell factory near Berlin. The European Union, in January, approved a plan that includes giving state aid to Tesla, BMW, and others to support the production of electric vehicle batteries and help the bloc reduce imports from industry leader China. The EU's approval of the 2.9 billion euro, 3.45 billion dollars, European Battery Innovation Project, which includes more than 40 companies, follows the launch in 2017 of the European Battery Alliance to support the industry during the shift away from fossil fuels. Tesla plans to invest 5 billion euros in its battery cell factory at Gronheide, near Berlin, to complement its nearly finished electric car factory at the same location, according to estimates from the German economy ministry. The unusually high investment volume means that the U.S. car manufacturer can count on German state subsidies of up to 1.14 billion euros, the Tagesspiegel newspaper reported on Sunday. This chimes with a February report by Business Insider, which said Tesla stands to receive at least 1 billion euros in public funding from Germany for setting up its battery cell factory near Berlin. The economy ministry spokesperson said there was no final sum yet because talks with the carmaker and the European Commission are ongoing, adding that a final decision is likely before the end of the year. Tesla chief executive, Elon Musk, last month, said he hoped the first cars at its planned gigafactory in Gruenheide would be built in October or soon afterward. Tesla has pushed back the expected opening of the gigafactory to late 2021, blaming German bureaucratic hurdles. The plant has also faced local resistance because of environmental concerns. Economy Minister, Peter Altmaier, announced that Opel will receive a 437 million euro government grant for its battery cell factory in Kaiserslautern as part of a larger European initiative to develop a homegrown battery industry. An online consultation for local citizens to express objections to Tesla's huge factory near Berlin will be repeated, the regional environmental ministry said on Thursday, over concerns, the process did not comply with regulations. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, said at a visit to the factory site in Gruenheide on October 9 that he hoped to begin production in November, which looks increasingly unlikely, as authorities first need to review the latest submissions before deciding whether to grant approval. The repeated process, only open to those who expressed an objection in previous public consultation rounds, but were not satisfied with the response from Tesla or the Environmental Ministry, will run from November 2 to 22, the statement said. A Tesla spokesperson said the company was maintaining its target to begin producing cars before the end of the year and then ramp up as quickly as possible. Authorities decided to repeat the process after environmental groups disputed in a separate case also moved online that citizens were not warned far enough in advance that the consultation would be digital, prompting concern that the same applied to the Tesla consultation. Since, in the absence of sample cases, 
it is difficult to assess which legal opinion the administrative courts in Brandenburg would adopt in the event of a lawsuit. The licensing authority decided to repeat the online consultation in the emissions control procedure for the vehicle factory for reasons of legal certainty, it said. Objections submitted in the previous round will still be valid, the statement said. In his two-year battle to get production running at the site, Musk has expressed irritation at German laws and processes, arguing complex planning requirements were at odds with the urgency needed to fight climate change. Coming on the heels of officials, allowing the company to break ground on its new site before final approval had even been granted. Environmental groups say this is just the latest example of Tesla being given too much leeway to act disruptively in Germany. They are concerned that this pattern will continue. Tesla did not respond to a request for comment. The pre-approvals Musk has received from local authorities to build without final permission are legal, but rarely used by German firms because of the associated risk. If final approval is not granted, Tesla must pay to tear everything down. While some bemoan Musk's approach as throwing German caution to the wind, others who say German regulations governing planning, jobs, and environmental concerns are unnecessarily restrictive welcome the influence he could have on the country's business culture. I am fully convinced Tesla can have a positive effect on Germany, Brandenburg's economy minister Jörg Steinbach, a prominent advocate of the factory, told Reuters. The fundamental idea of taking a close look at current legislation and checking whether it could perhaps be modernized without risking a loss of legal clout is, in my opinion, absolutely worth considering. The country's powerful unions are already gearing up to fight for German-style contracts for Tesla workers, environmental groups are poised to oppose any further expansion plans, and locals wary of Musk's American ways are watching the firm's every move. Tesla has to stick to environmental protection laws, building laws, and, of course, labor and unionization laws, Birgit Diets, head of the Brandenburg region for Union IG Metal and a former member of Volkswagen's supervisory board, said. Once running, the factory will produce 500,000 electric cars a year and generate 50 gigawatt hours of battery capacity, more than any other plant in the country. Conversations between the union and applicants indicate, Tesla, whose CEO is known for his rocky relationship with organized labor, is offering pay, 20% below the collectively bargained wages offered at other German automakers, IG Metal said. It is also shaking up conventional German contracts by offering packages with stock options and bonuses, rather than predetermined holiday pay. Driving a harder bargain with its workforce could create a competitive advantage for Tesla, whose choice to set up its first European gigafactory in the homeland of Volkswagen, Daimler, and BMW has raised the stakes in the global battle for EV dominance. Musk has already experienced German union power. When Tesla bought German car parts supplier, Grumman Automation in 2017, it set wages 30% below average, refusing to match collectively bargained pay. After the firm offered one-off bonuses and stock options instead, unions dropped a threat to strike. Unions say stock options have also been mooted at the Brandenburg factory. According to IG Metal and Steinbach, of the 12,000 positions to be created at the factory, 800 to 1,200 have been filled so far. Tesla did not respond to a request for comment or questions on how recruitment was progressing. But data from LinkedIn suggests applications are low, with fewer than 10 applicants for most of the factory positions advertised in the past month. Musk had planned to start production in July to deliver the Model Y car to European customers from Berlin, but local opposition and the late addition of a battery plant, requiring blueprints to be resubmitted to authorities, held up the process. The delay forced Tesla to deliver the Model Y from Shanghai, prolonging waiting times and increasing costs. In a document published online in late September, containing all 813 objections to the factory filed with local authorities in Tesla's responses, the company repeatedly reminded its critics that it was creating jobs and bringing Germany closer to its electric mobility goals. I understand the concerns, but some of it is selfish. It's always the same people want things like wine farms and electric vehicles, just not in their backyard, said 60-year-old Grunheide local. Ralph Thomas Peterson, a member of Germany's official Tesla fan club. 
A public hearing, scheduled for September 23rd for citizens to discuss objections to the factory, was moved online due to concerns that it could become a super-spreader event, authorities said. A decision that some viewed as hypocritical, considering the likely approval of Tesla's request for a 9,000-person party. This isn't about Tesla. It's about whether you take citizen participation seriously, Michael Ganshow of environmental organization Grun Liga said. We can't just say, you're making electric cars, so you can do whatever you want. In the comments section below, please share your thoughts. Also, please remember to like and share this video, as well as to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and updates until the next time.